present day to all of you young eager minds. Have you all ever wondered how and why a stone travels into the thin air when drawn by a person? And after a blink of an eye, goes in a downward direction. If you responded with a yes, then we must break the curiosity and open the door of science. Let's take a leap and unfold the logical and scientific explanation about this quest. Let our adventure begin. View, a stone will travel into the thin air for a couple of seconds and then land to the ground. Its downward direction is caused with a gravitational pull and the stone's motion is called a projectile motion. What is a projectile motion? A projectile motion is the motion of an object thrown or projected into the air, subject to only the acceleration of gravity. The stone is called the projectile, while its path is called the trajectory or parabola. One of the most important facts to remember here is that the motion along the perpendicular axis are independent and thus can be analyzed separately. In projectile motion, we have two kinds of dimension, the horizontal and the vertical. As is customary, the horizontal axis is called the x-axis while the vertical axis is called the y-axis. In order for us to describe the motion, we must deal with the velocity as well as the displacement. We must find their components along the x-axis and the y-axis too. We will assume all forces such as air resistance and friction except gravity because they are all negligible. The components of acceleration are very simple. The acceleration of horizontal motion is equal to the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity which is equal to negative 9.8 meter per second. Since the stone's direction is downward, the sign must be negative. Because the gravity is vertical, the acceleration of vertical motion is equal to zero. Both accelerations are constant, so the kinematic equation can be used. We have now overcome our curiosity and earned knowledge and victory. Note in mind that hard work pays, your victory awaits. Life is like a projectile motion. We will reach our life's climax at the maximum height of trajectory and end up seeing how far lives take you at the motion's final destination.